Many local runners we spoke to say the true magnitude of the events of yesterday still hasn't become real to them just yet. News 8's Stephanie Simone talked to two marathoners from the state tonight about what day two is like. Running 26.2 miles is physically exhausting, but these blasts injected adrenaline. I heard the explosion and it just it went right through my body. He says for a few seconds, 200 yards from the explosion, the group around him fell completely silent. We're looking at the dust settle and another explosion went off about oh, 10 seconds later. And at that point, everybody knew it wasn't something that was planned. Um, so we turned around and the natural instinct is to start running. You're saying to yourself, uh, when's the next one going to go off and where is it? Meanwhile, Dino Varelli is less than half a mile away, worried for his friends. The biggest stress was, are they okay? And then I think once I realized, like, okay, nothing's happening here, go somewhere where it would be potentially safer than where I was. Both men say the weight of the reality is still settling. It's very surreal. Um, I had to ask myself, is this really, did this really happen yesterday? I really started thinking about what could have happened to myself had I had the crowd not been there to, to, to pick me up and to make me run that little bit faster. With these images forever printed in their memory, they're determined to throw on a number, tie their laces, and tackle it again next year. We just move on, and yes, I, I, would, I would run Boston any day in a heartbeat. I think it's just going to make the race more important every year, and I think it's going to be a stronger community. A hope that out of all this destruction, strength will rise. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.